Hi, I'm Jakob from SkatePro, and today I'm going to talk a little bit about how to choose the correct stance on your snowboard, also uh, in detail known as the width of the bindings and the angle of the bindings. So, first things first, before we start with the angles of the bindings, we're going to look a bit about how to actually set the width. Um, it's quite clear that there's do's and don'ts, but in the end, it all comes down to your personal preference. But I'll give you a few pointers. Standing too wide is definitely something that will limit your movement in your torso and in your hips. So you'll have less control and less speed in your movements. On the other hand, standing too narrow, making movements is going to make you more unbalanced. So what you want to do is you want to find a probably has something in between those two as an average. Shoulder width is a good starting point uh, and then you can move on from there. An easy option is also to choose the reference point from the manufacturer. They've set it and it's marked on the board so it's pretty easy to mount your bindings to the reference point and then go from there. There is I would say a small downside because often this varies a lot from brand to brand. Uh, if you're renting or you maybe have been renting and then buy your first one, you might feel completely different when, when being on the board. Also within the same brands, they even have the same uh, board in uh, uh, the same height board, but with different reference stances. So that's, a, that's an easy solution. And if it doesn't work for you, I have a few other pointers that, that might help. The first one would be put your leg up and you measure from the bottom of your feet to the top of your knee. I have no clue why this works, but I've seen it done and I've done it myself. And for some reason, it quite well hits the spot. So this one, I would definitely say is an option if, if, any, if anything else fails. Another one is to actually just find a jumping point Stand up and jump and the feet, the position of the feet and the distance between them would be how to set your bindings. These are just three ways you can do it. There is, I'm sure, more, but play around with them, find your own preferred stance or width, and then let's move on to actually setting the angles. First things first, choosing the right angle is more or less something that you'll develop over your time riding, meaning you're not gonna necessarily have the same riding at the same angles today as you will five or 10 years from now. This will simply change while you're changing your style or just while you're getting more experienced. So don't be afraid to play around with it. This is, uh, this is one of the fun things about snowboarding. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you a few pointers to basic settings for basic riding styles. And from there, uh, you are more than welcome to, to uh, flip and, and turn uh, the angles as much as possible. So you have your bindings. The bindings can move in different directions on the board. You have your little discs, which are inside the binding and will allow you to change the position or advise you how to change the position of the binding. You see little numbers on the side of the binding or on the, on the side of the disc. These jump by three, meaning that you'll change the angle three degrees every time you move it one little pin. So your front binding is known as the positive. Uh, that means the, the nose binding and your back binding or the tail binding is known as the negative. So if I'm going to do a First time recommendation for a beginner, I would say positive 12, negative nine. This is more or less still a kind of neutral stance and this allows you to control the board and, and will help you get into the turns a little more gentle. So this should be an easy startup position. If you're going for freestyle riding, I would go 15 plus and 15 negative. This will give you the opportunity to ride symmetrical, both backwards and, and forwards. If you were to do powder, 
I would go 15 plus and I would actually go back to zero. Uh, writing powder, you're going to be re relying a lot on the back of the board, so it's easier to control when it's, when it's in zero position. And going for carving, I would actually go plus 18 and plus six. This is going to benefit you going in and out of the turns and you're going to be more like going one direction. So these are just some of the stances or some of the, the angles that you can play around with, but make sure to, to just, yeah, try different things. Uh, in every service station, there's a screwdriver or you can bring one maybe in your backpack and then it's easy to change your, your angles uh, basically by every ride. Don't be afraid to play around with it. Well, go do it. See you on the mountain.